Tuesday's Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Uh, it's a pretty raw Wednesday for us, that's for sure. We have some showers around the region, mostly cloudy skies, and as you can see, the flag in the center of town here in Gettysburg, we do have the winds. Getting a workout here, that flag is uh, in Gettysburg. Currently, we're seeing those temperatures pretty cool, too. We're sitting at 52 degrees. And then a bit of a wind coming out of the north here, 12 miles per hour sustained with some showers in the area. Now, you can see those showers on Super Doppler 8. Other temperatures are generally sitting in the low to mid 50s at this time. The showers that we are seeing, though, not really that heavy. In fact, uh, pretty quick moving and fairly light. And that'll be the trend through the rest of the afternoon with some of these light showers as they move from the northeast down to the southwest. They are all pinwheeling around an area of low pressure, which is centered just off of the uh, Delmarva here, sitting around the mouth of the Delaware Bay currently. You can see that wrap around with the precipitation, and that's also what's causing the winds that we are seeing. This area of low pressure, as it scoots away, high pressure to the north, kind of squeezing the air in between, and that's why we are seeing the breezy conditions. And this low is going to be a slow mover crawling up the coast over the next 24 to 48 hours. So, what you see is what you get even going into tomorrow. So, here in the News 8 Storm Team forecast, we have Wagon Town, that's Chester County in the background. A few showers around, nothing really all that heavy, but it will be cloudy, cool, and pretty raw here. With the winds anywhere between 15 to 20 miles per hour through the afternoon. Even tonight, it stays windy, mostly cloudy with some spotty showers. Not expecting it to be as widespread as what we are seeing right now. Those lows falling into around the mid to upper 40s. And tomorrow, a very similar day that what we're seeing today, mostly cloudy. A few of those showers continuing. Once again, those highs climbing into the, around the mid to upper 50s. And those winds, we could see some gusts tomorrow near 30 miles per hour. So it will be a pretty breezy, windy day. We're seeing the winds right now sustained between uh, around 15 to uh, I mean, the highest 20 miles per hour continuing into the afternoon. You see these winds on predictor. Even tonight, see them coming generally out of the west northwest, and then eventually we do see them pick back up tomorrow afternoon before they do continue even into uh, tomorrow evening. So pretty breezy with the showers as that area of low pressure slowly crawls up the coast. There's a lot of heavy rain off the coast. Most of that heavy rain will be staying to our east as this low pulls away, but staying quite breezy here on predictor as we go through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. You see the clouds stick around. Even a few of these showers try to make their way through as it spins around. Some beneficial rain up into our northeast. For us, we'll just be dealing with light showers and some drizzle here all the way into Friday morning. But it does look like high pressure temporarily builds in, gives us a little bit more in the way of sunshine for our Friday afternoon. But it's short lived here on Friday. We'll see 62 for the high there. Clouds move back in. It looks like late on Saturday and uh, for Sunday as well. Going to be a breezy one as a pretty potent cold front swings through. Not much rain along with it, but could see a couple sprinkles. It will be breezy and cool there through the weekend, but then we go back into mild temperatures on Monday and Tuesday. It does look like we see a jump with those numbers into around the mid to upper 60s, above average for mm. this time of the year. So if we want that warmer weather early next week, that's, to wait. Look, that's right. You got to <laughs> wait right. for it. Got to get through the weekend. That's right. All right. Thanks, Matt. And we'll be right back.